simple question at supermarket checkout. Paper or plastic? Maybe getting more complicated in Santa Monica. In your ocean, I'm everywhere. And the Heal the Bay Coalition, all urging city lawmakers to make plastic a thing of the past. You cannot solve this problem with voluntary measures. We use six billion bags per year within the Los Angeles County area alone. So even if you have the best recycling program in the world, which is a two-thirds recycling rate, you're still going to end up with two billion bags left over. A 15-year-old son said to me yesterday, why can't we just go clean it up? He said, you couldn't even contact the service area in your lifetime, probably. Now the industry will tell us, and often tells us, um, that packaging, that plastic packaging is actually beneficial to the environment. But what happens is these studies are funded by the industry, and my opinion is garbage in, garbage out. This is insane. I don't think I've ever even seen it this bad. I've never seen page out of 20 pages that lists the over 180 species of fish, birds, turtles, and marine mammals that have been reported to ingest marine debris. This is why we need to ban single-use plastic bags, because they end up here on the beach. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? Generally, the owner of any single-use plastic may sometimes discard his or her item improperly. As it rains, any nutrients as well as trash and human waste collect and spill into a catch basin, where it leads into a storm drain. Multiple catch basins are located within the city, with their storm drain systems linking with one another to form a bigger storm drain, which leads directly into the ocean. But as you can see, there is a problem. And I am also a person who I truly love the ocean. Um, I swim, I dive, I snorkel, I surf. I spent years and I still continue to coming out of water all over the world with bits and pieces of plastic and things I found in the ocean, particularly plastic bags. The plastics at sea have the ability to act like a sponge for chemicals that are, that are toxic, things like PCBs, DDT, pesticides, oil drops from your car, things that will wash into the ocean through our watersheds after rain. Once in the ocean, they don't mix with water but they stick to plastic like a sponge. These lanternfish are extremely common out in the open ocean. They're eaten by tuna, by mahi-mahi, by squid, by fish that you and I eat. So even though we're not directly consuming these fish, we're eating fish that have eaten other fish that are eating plastic. This, I've found 26 pieces of plastic, all different colors inside one stomach. So the concern is that fish eat these small particles of plastic that have chemicals on their surface. The chemicals get into their tissue, work their way up the food chain, and then get onto our dinner plate. Entanglement affects all marine life, including helpless seabirds. Excess fishing lines choke dolphins, whales, sharks, and different species of fish. Milk rings and canned plastic holders that are thrown away carelessly are potentially life-threatening to those creatures. 100 billion bags are thrown away in the U.S. alone each year. They are produced with petroleum, so if that many are consumed, it would be the equivalent to throwing away 12 million barrels of oil.
problem with programs trying to save the bag is a bit ridiculous. Many of them like SaveThePlasticBag.com argue that the production of paper bags would worsen the global warming cause, I mean the alternative should be neither, and go reusable. By reusing bags there will be fewer fossil fuel emissions. The American Chemistry Council is another corporation defending plastic bags. Senior Director Tim Shestick expresses his thoughts toward the plastic pollution crisis and concludes that there is indeed a problem. However, this corporation offers only one single solution to this massively scaled problem, which is to recycle. It is apparent to us that even if we use the best recycling program in the world, we would still have billions of bags left over. You cannot solve this problem with voluntary measures. Senior Director Shestick of the ACC replies, And, and frankly, I, I just disagree. 